the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are traveling to the UK for the first time with their children to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. During the upcoming June extended bank holiday weekend, however, Meghan and Harry will also celebrate a private milestone, the first birthday of their daughter Lilibet Lily Diana. And royal author Andrew Morton claimed this happy occasion will give the chance to bring together the Sussexes and the closest relatives for a private party in honor of the tot. A similar event would be far from the cameras and could create the right atmosphere for Prince Harry and some of his family members to heal the rift. The author of the newly released biography The Queen told Co.uk, I think the big family event is going to be Lilibet's first birthday party. That would be a time for a family chit-chat and, maybe, some bridges may be mended at that party. I am sure the Queen would like to see that very much. Lilibet was born on June 4 last year at a Santa Barbara hospital. The Little Sussex, who was named after the Queen and Princess Diana, has yet to meet her royal relatives in person. Given her young age, it is unlikely the tot will take part in the events planned for the Platinum Jubilee, but royal fans are hoping to be able to catch a glimpse of her during the weekend. Prince Harry and Meghan announced earlier this month their return to the UK. In a statement, one of their representatives said the couple was excited and honored to attend the Jubilee celebrations with Lily and Archie. The Duke and Duchess won't join the Queen on the Buckingham Palace balcony on June 2 to watch the Trooping the Colour Parade and the following RAF fly past as the monarch has invited only full-time working members to the gathering. Among other key members of the family missing this event there will be Zara and Mike Tyndall, Princess Beatrice and her sister Princess Eugenie and Prince Andrew. Nevertheless, non-working royals will be able to attend a number of celebrations events during the weekend in their private capacity. Among those open to the wider family there is the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral on June 3. On the following day, many royals are expected to watch the races at Epsom Down. And on June 5, the family will likely gather for the Jubilee pageant, set to feature an array of performers. Meghan and Harry officially stepped down as senior royals at the end of March 2020. They have since built a life in California, from which they launched their organization Archwell, comprising two production powerhouses and a non-profit foundation. They have also stepped into the career of audio and video producers by signing a contract with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. After bowing out of the firm as its working members, they also made a few blistering remarks during interviews and public appearances, most notably during their interview with Oprah Winfrey, when they accused the firm of neglect and racism. Both Meghan and Harry have stressed they have maintained a great relationship with the Queen even after their relocation abroad. In April, they paid her a visit at Windsor Castle while on their way to the Netherlands for the Invictus Games. However, the relationship between Prince Harry and his father and brother is still believed to be difficult. Asked if he missed Prince Charles and Prince William during an interview with US journalist Hoda Kotev, the Duke sidestepped the question, saying, look I mean, for me at the moment, I'm here focused on these guys and these families and giving everything that I can, 120% to them to make sure they have the experience of a lifetime. That's my focus here, and when I leave here, I get back and my focus is on my family who I miss massively.